Hello dear friends, in part 3 of our series of videos on basics of probability, today we are going to try to understand the types of events. We all know that the probability of an event is given by the formula number of favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes. So to find the number of favorable outcomes, we need to have an understanding of the type of events. Now, first of the very important event which I am going to take up is the sure event. Now sure event, sure means which is certain, which is bound to happen. So if I consider an example of tossing two coins, I have a sample space, say A of two heads, one head, one tail, one tail, one head and two tails. Now, I have an event which states a conditional statement. Uh, event is basically any conditional statement. So, some of the outcomes or all of the outcomes may or may not satisfy this event. Now, if I have an event that either head or tail is obtained. Now if I toss a coin, it is obvious that I will have either a head or a tail. So all the events will satisfy this statement and this experiment of tossing two coins resulting in these four events these four outcomes and all the four outcomes will satisfy this event. So this event will be called a sure event. Understand this in a better way. Say we have throwing a dice. Now this is a experiment of throwing a dice. You have the sample space 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and there is an event that the number obtained is less than 7. Now see, number obtained is less than 7. So in the sample space I have 6 numbers 1 to 6. So all the numbers 1 to 6 are less than 7. So every outcome in this sample space is satisfying this statement. So this statement will be called this event or this statement will be called a sure event. So here number of favorable outcomes and the number of total outcomes are actually equal. So whenever these two things become equal then the event is called a sure event. And in turn the probability of that event, say I have to number of favorable outcomes and number of total of outcomes, both are equal. So if I put it here, equal things cancel out and the probability will become 1. So every sure event has a probability of 1. Now come to the impossible event. As the name suggests, this event is impossible. That is, no outcome which is listed in sample space will satisfy this event. Say I take this example only. Now the event is getting a number between 10 and 15. Now see the numbers are 1 to 6. So I cannot have a number which is between 10 and 15. So none of the numbers in the sample space is satisfying this event. So this event will be called an impossible event. So when no outcome satisfies the event, then this event is called impossible event. So number of favorable outcomes is 0. So the probability of event will be 0. So this is the condition of 
identifying whether any event is impossible or not the probability of that event should be zero now the complementary event i take this example for illustrating this tossing two coins now say i have one event getting exactly two heads in this example i have four outcomes in the sample space so the total number of outcomes is four what are the number of favorable outcomes now see getting exactly two heads exactly two heads is only in one case other cases i have single head here and no head here so only one case is favorable case so favorable upon total the probability is 1 upon 4 now this is probability of an event e that is the probability of getting exactly two heads now i want to know what is the probability of not happening of e means not getting exactly two heads now this event not event not event is called a complementary event and it is represented by putting a bar over the event e so if i write pe it is the probability of the event and if i write pe bar it is probability of not happening of that event so now what is e bar it is not getting exactly two heads that is not hh so now these three are favorable so favorable three total four now if you notice this 1 by 4 and 3 by 4 add up to 1 so every time probability of an event added to probability of not happening of that event will give you the result 1 this is an important property of a complementary event that whenever you know the probability of happening of an event pe then just subtract this probability from 1 you get probability of not happening of that event this is a complementary event so a deep understanding of some of these particular type of events is required for success in this important topic and the final thing in this trick which i wanted to tell you is probability of an sure event is 1 probability of an impossible event is 0 all other events which is not sure or not impossible probability of that but event will be either 0 or greater than 0 0 means impossible event less than or equal to 1 1 means sure event and any other event apart from sure event and impossible event the probability of that event will lie between 0 and 1 so this is again a very important question for competitions we very frequently asked in competitions this is another important concept asked in competitions probability of a complementary event so these things you need to learn by heart and little bit of understanding will lead you to solve higher problems of probability so keep learning keep learning mathematics and share and subscribe the channel if you like it